Okay, so uh, a while back I said I would, uh, maybe it's not been a while back, I don't know when this video comes up. A while back I recorded this, I recorded this like two, maybe three months ago. Um, and uh, this this is um, different than most of them because usually I start from the beginning and then record, but this time I've already started. Um, so uh, th these are my practice drawings or like um drawings for my own story and uh this these are um the main character has a, a design element that actually hides a lot of her design uh which is a a, a mistake on my part from a drawing perspective but uh, for an uh, in-universe perspective, it's kind of necessary. So, you know, uh, I will have to work around it. But I'm using um, uh, in my character... I did a character turnaround. I didn't record it because I wasn't intending to talk about these. Um, so I've taken... Uh, I knew I wanted her shoes to... Well, I didn't actually know what I wanted her shoes to be. I wanted them to be slightly practical and uh, kind of go with the color palette. And uh, they seemed a bit boring in the character turnaround, but they also weren't really that visible. So um, I decided to draw them separately. And you can see that the sides um, have some like cherry blossom designs. And that's because um, her childhood friend um, likes painting like the sides and has the paint to like the um, materials to do it. So um, every year she sends uh, one of those for uh, Cricket's birthday. Cricket is the name of the main character. I should get okay. So I am right. I am working on writing a story or a web comic about uh, these three friends who are technically smart but also just idiots when they're together and um, it's them in their last year of high school trying to graduate because they've all crickets uh, cricket is they're also fairies it's like a fantasy it's a futuristic fantasy ish thing and uh the current working title is Fairy Frenzy. I don't, uh, like I said, it's a working title, so I don't know what is happening. But yeah, um, Cricket is the main-ish character. The, yeah, probably the, would be regarded as the main character. And uh, with the shoes I've done, I did the just uh, base colors and then uh, exported it with that and then uh, did some minor shading and stuff like that. Uh, because um, it's good. I find it helpful if I know how I intended to shade it, or um, even though if that might not be how I shade it later, it just kind of helps me see things better. Um, and that doesn't mean I have to shade it well, I just have to uh, make it bearable for me to look at when it, the time comes that I have to look at them. Uh, but practically when I'm going to be using it, it's going to be the um, the other, uh, the color blocked version that I'm going to be using. And this helps me because it is not exactly symmetric. The design isn't fully symmetrical. So uh, it helps me like back, front, uh, right in um left in, in like that type of thing except i used um i coded my uh notes for some reason i think i was thinking in a different language i do that sometimes um and uh additionally since uh that th that would be a fairly short video i've also done um uh these are a few sketches that i'm coloring in and uh, line arting off the back of her outfit and kind of figuring out how the outfit really works because the thing with Cricket is that she has she is fairly short um she's below five foot 
but her wings, uh, her wingspan is massive. Uh, it's like it, it's it's big. Uh, I have I I have them written down. It's like seven meters, uh, but like the wingspan is that half of that is just feathers trailing on the floor, and um, the actual I don't know bird and in an anatomically correct wording, but uh, ignore the fact that my uh, drawing tablet was not tracking properly. But you know, uh, we we fix that. But uh, her wings are actually, when she stands, are taller than her, if that makes sense. And um, when they're like outstretched up, they're definitely taller. But even when they're resting, they're still uh, higher up. Uh, so, uh, and because um, some other like the uh, like a dragonfly wings would be able to like go limp like tinkerbell type wings would be able to go limp and then you could put clothes on top but since hers hers are more um bird-esque th- hers are feathered so i uh, even when her wings are limp she can't like she can't really reach that high and clothes are difficult so she kind of has this um and most fairy uh, outfits in my world have like are backless topped anyway um since uh wings uh, but for cricket i've kind of designed this It's a glorified bib with like a buckle with a um, belt attached on the back and you pull it and it becomes tighter. Um, So she only has to like put uh, the she only has to like put her arm and head in and then she pulls the uh, belt behind her back and that's kind of it. That's easy. Easy peasy. And the biggest drawing is the is the uh is the loosest it can be and um and then you uh, you pull it and it'll like wrap around and then you can it it becomes tighter if you want it to be tighter uh cricket does not want it to be tighter cricket wears it as uh, as baggy as she possibly can have it um the thing is also uh like like with the shoes uh the sides of the shoes weren't visible in the s- turnaround and um but it in the turnaround or it already made the colors sometimes i go back and change the colors if i'm like yeah that actually doesn't really work as well as i thought when i was a bit tired so uh, I'm, i might change that but um when she has massive wings and there's a character turnaround I can't actually see the back of her outfit and I didn't know how it actually worked because um, I go look, I don't, okay, the way I describe my work process is I don't go shopping but I kind of go window shopping for designs that look cool and then I kind of use them for my designs and i like i take this one and i take this one and i smush them and this is kind of one of those where the front of it i'm kind i'm trying to match the front of the outfit with the back now because i know what the front looks like and i'm trying to match the um back to it in a way that will work for my purposes and um every so often there's uh, some references uh my own references of about um i was also trying to work on capricorn at the same time this this that gives you an example of like what i'm trying to do um but uh of, of what time period i was drawing this um so i've done cricket's turnaround and i've done uh some expressions for her uh or like Kind of like her, you know how people have their signature expressions that they do and they do multiple times and like, you know, it's their expression specifically. Um, So uh, I was kind of, I did uh, 
some of those for Cricket, and I've done them for the other characters as well. I actually recorded some of those. I I uh, I don't know how much of them I recorded because I don't remember, but I've recorded some of them. Um, and the th- thing was, while I was drawing Cricket's character turnaround and facial and expressions, uh, I wasn't sure. I didn't think I was going to be uh, uploading. Uh, a video about it so I didn't record it and then during this I was like well I might as well record something and since um, when it's the front design uh, sometimes it's just larger or smaller depending on like there are small changes but um, if I can just copy and place um, the a previous drawing of uh, what I've done that especially for this point um, that's very helpful because that will save me time and the thing uh, cricket is very pale um, so that that that's a thing to note that is why um, very pale um, pale with like easily blush blushy pinkish skin but very pale burns really easily and is kind of, yeah, uh, has sensitive skin. I, I, I am not as pale, but I also have sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin to the sun. I have sensitive skin to temperature. Uh, I, cold specifically, but I can't stand the heat either. So, you know, uh, but heat is more like the brain can't stand the heat. The brain goes, oh, it's hot. I'm just going to like pretend to pass out or I'm just going to be sick because it's too hot. Thank you very much. I would like to be an indoor brain now. Goodbye. And then the cold, my skin goes, oh, it's cold. Let's just make your hands like five shades redder than any, than your arm. Literally, I, I look at my hands and they are beet red and then I look at my arm and it's like a normal color and I'm like that does not look like the same hand and the same arm but you know one of those things um I feel fine and then I I actually like feel my hand and it's actually really fucking cold and I'm like wow wow it it is always cold um I'm using a silvery uh, buckles I could have used like a more bronze or a goldish buckle but since the um cherry blossom like branches are more of a gray grayish color i thought that would work better and uh the reason i kind of started doing some like shading and stuff like that for these is because of cricket because i'm like cricket you need some pigment uh probably once i actually start drawing uh the series uh her skin tone might end up becoming a bit more pinkish uh, depending on how much I actually change things so you know and uh, Cricket is is base is pretty much like the new kid who is a dumbass but also means well and you know she's a sweetheart her friend group is like she picks up things easily, so, you know, she has a good friend group, it's, they, they just have a bit of a, they don't really have a reputation, it's, they don't have a reputation worse than anyone else in the school, it's just like, I know their reputation, <laughs> so that's what's, like, because they're the main characters, I've done so much work on their, on the story, as well as their backstory, even though most of that isn't going to be relevant. Whereas, like, s- other side characters I haven't done nearly as much work for, so I'm like, they have a reputation. No, they don't. They don't have a reputation. I've, I, they have a reputation with me. I know what's happened. I know that one of them blew up the science lab on the last day before summer break and then ditched the other one and now the other one has detention because of her so you know uh that is the type of friend group that they have um but yeah that's that's cricket i i i might um yeah, I've run out of video, so I might uh, put. I, I'll probably. You won't need. You'll know all of this by that point. But like, I'll probably. I'm. I'll. I'll put like a expression sheet thing. I'll put one of them up 
doing here. Um, you'll know what I've put up. It's probably the expressions because you can see her face, but like, yeah, uh, that's cricket. Uh, and um, it'll, yeah, expressions because the turnaround doesn't fit anywhere. Um, it had to be really long and tall. Um, but yeah, that's that's cricket. That is our first character of my first story. Um, and I'll I'll be doing a few more of these of introducing a few characters and explaining them. And I'll uh, but before I can start, I also need to draw some backgrounds because I would like to know what th what the environment looks like before I actually start drawing because that would be helpful and I would like to be able to draw the said environment before I have to draw it multiple times <laughs> um so yeah uh, we're gonna be doing a bit of these probably not gonna might, might not do as well as other videos but who knows and then yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll see and uh but you know this is what I'm, i'll be doing this is what will be happening and yeah um i hope you have a wonderful day see you later and goodbye